To present the award, let's welcome the Honourable Andrew Giles, Minister for Immigration, Citizenship and Multicultural Affairs. Thanks so much, Tracey. And I'd like to begin my remarks by acknowledging the traditional owners of the land on which we gathered, the Gadigal people of the Eora Nation, and pay my respects to Elders past and present, as well as any First Nations people with us today. And what an incredibly powerful speech we just heard from Peter. It is a pleasure, and it's also a very great privilege to be here at the Ethnic Business Awards, joining Prime Minister Albanese, uh, uh, Michael Suka representing the opposition leader, uh, two Melburnians at least in this room, uh, parliamentary colleagues including Ministers Burke and Clare, former Prime Minister Abbott, former Prime Minister Morrison, and so many dignitaries, consular representatives and others. As we all come together to celebrate something that is so important, the extraordinary success of the multicultural business community, a key underpinning of our success as a nation. I want to particularly thank Joseph and Angela. Joseph, for having me to your birthday party. It's a bigger one than mine, um, for probably very obvious reasons, So, for both of our perspectives. Um, it, it is a real privilege to come here, and, and I think particularly as a Melbourneian, to see really what this means, to, not just to Sydney, not just to the ethnic business community, but, but to our country. This is an extraordinary event, and I, I do feel the very heavy weight of the privilege of being able to announce the winner of the 2023 Ethnic Business Award Small Business category. And, and that's because that for multicultural Australians who bring together such a rich tapestry of cultures also critically contribute to the country's small business landscape. Entrepreneurs from diverse backgrounds bring innovative ideas and perspectives. Enriching, of course, our economic fabric, but as we've seen in those powerful stories in the videos, enriching our social fabric too. Businesses that we see run by particularly first-generation migrants often fuse traditional practices with modern approaches and innovation, offering unique products and services. This vibrant sector, which the uh, finalists here represent so well, so powerfully, not only bolster the economy, but promotes an exchange of ideas and understanding, showcasing the very best of our multicultural identity. As the Australian Minister for Immigration, Citizenship and Multicultural Affairs, I really want to extend my gratitude and my appreciation to all of the finalists, and my deep gratitude that I'm not responsible for judging the winner. Uh, that's a task that's way beyond me. And I want to extend that appreciation for the extraordinary impact you've made, not only enriching local neighbourhoods, not only enriching communities, but reshaping each and every day through your hard work, the very fabric of our nation. Your contributions, as we've seen tonight, are a testament to the strength and the resilience that define our modern nation. So congratulations, each and every one of you.